Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm happy that you're here today. If you watched the vlog that I posted yesterday, which was of our entire weekend, then probably today you were expecting a Frenchie's haul, try on haul. You guys, I'm really burnt, okay? Like, I'm really burnt. I'm so, like, I, I'm trying so hard. Um, to not complain, but like what you can see here is much worse on my back, which I can't really show you because like my arm can only go so far, but like trust and believe. <laughs> I'm surviving right now, okay? Um, literally, I only put a bralette on to leave the house. Um, and to be totally honest, when I am done filming, it's coming back off again. I have a hoodie on, so like the girls won't be like too noticeable because Addie and Boober are here and like mom's breasts <laughs> are not something that need to be out and about, okay? I just, I am hurting so badly, you guys. Um, and also if you were wondering, my leg burn, cause you know, I caught on fire on the weekend as well. Um, it's doing okay. It's not fantastic. I actually think it is going to leave a scar, um, which is fine. I mean, I have my fair share of scars, but like, it's still pretty raw. Do you want to see? Of course you want to see. There it is, guys. There it is. Yeah. It's very sore. It's giving pus. <laughs> it's not cute, guys. It's just not cute. Um, but like I said in yesterday's vlog, even with all the hiccups, even with all of the misadventures, we still had a wonderful weekend. We really did. And this weekend is a long weekend too, you guys. So like it's Canada day. I don't know what we're doing for Canada day. Honestly, I don't think I want to go to the fireworks this year. Um, simply because we were just at the best fireworks pretty much in North America, if not the planet. Um, you know, the Magic Kingdom fireworks, the, the fireworks show that lasts like 20 minutes and it's totally magical. And my daughter only cared about her bubble wand the entire time. Um, I literally took a clip and I was like, Winnie, like I really want to get a clip of you looking at the fireworks. So could you just look there just for like a second? And that was hard. And that was hard. I really did think she would be captivated by its beauty. She didn't give a shit. She really didn't. She liked her bubble wand and that was it for her. So like, do I want to keep my kids up late and go to town and get stuck in traffic and sit in a cloud of marijuana smell? Because let's be honest, it's the East Coast and they be doing a lot of doobies over here, okay? So honestly, I just, I don't think it's necessary for us to go to town and do that at night because it's, of course, it's weather permitting always, but it's always when it's dark out and it doesn't get dark out till around 10 o'clock here. So by the time I were to get home, it would be like midnight-ish with traffic and with kids and walking to and from the best spot to see the fireworks and also trying to find somewhere to pee because that is always a problem every year. I don't know why this hasn't been figured out, but every parent knows the struggle of trying to be at a public event when your child needs to pee. And it doesn't matter if you pee before and after, there's always one. There's always one that causes a problem. Oh my heck. So yeah, I don't know what our plans are for this long weekend, but all I know is I have a three day work week this week. Um, of course I do seven days a week here on YouTube, but this is just hanging out with my friends. This is just catching up. This is just a phone call to everyone quickly at once because like, I can't make 10,000 phone calls. So thank you for being a part of this like party line, this chat room, this group chat, this thread of friends together. And I'm happy that you're one of those friends. I really am. So today I've been hitting the laundry so very hard. I actually woke up this morning at 5.51 a.m. And I've been just like a little energizer bunny getting so much done. And I woke my beautiful husband up at 10.18 um, because I was like, 
Is he okay? <laughs> I knew he was going to sleep in because he could. Um, but normally when he sleeps in, he wakes up at like 8.39 ish and I get a text. I'm up getting in the shower. I'll be up soon. That's normally what I expect. And when 10 o'clock rolled around, I was like, should I go check if he's breathing? Like I, I actually getting concerned. So at 10 18, I was like, all right, we better go check. And he was okay. He was snoring, snoring really loud. He had no idea he slept in that long, but obviously he needed it. Um, so we actually had to bring our Jeep to get a safety inspection done. So, um, and we were running out of time because we told Curtis's friend slash our mechanic, um, like it's legit. He has a business or whatever. Anyways, he was expecting the Jeep way earlier. And I was like, babe, I think, I think we got to bring the Jeep to Doc's house. And, uh, he was like, oh crap, forgot. He throws off his blankets. He's all angry and like sleepy <laughs> and he's so adorable when he's like that but anyways we dropped off the jeep we took the kids with us and then we stopped off at the piggy market and i'm so excited to bring you guys my very first green pig market haul of summer 2022 it's happening you guys all of the produce i'm about to show you was literally grown right up the street it doesn't get better than that. This time of year is the best time of year to be eaten, okay? So restrict no more. Just live life in a balance. This is me reminding myself. Remember when God burned you with a hot burning on fire donut because you have eaten too much and he was like, Miranda, if you don't put that donut down, I'm going to put that donut down for you. Curtis thinks I'm acting ridiculous and that it's not God that burned me. But in my head, it was and duly noted, okay? <laughs> so... Um, I can't restrict because then all that's going to do is make me eat 26 donuts. They're not quite, but you know what I mean? It makes you binge. So I'm not going to, I'm going to have ice cream today. And I'm really excited about that. The ice cream, um, some of it's made in Quebec and some of it was made in Sussex, which is about 35 minutes away from our house. And actually, um, Skylar has a baseball game there today after I was going to say after school, but no. There's no more school um, after supper. Anyways, let me show you what I got. Everything that I got here cost me $69. And let me show you. So everything here cost me $69 altogether. I got some beautiful Swiss chard, which I personally enjoy a lot. Um, and the way I cook it might not be the way you cook it. So don't come for me. This is how I do it. I boil it after I wash it. I boil it. And then I drain it and then I add a little bit of vinegar and a little bit of salt and I could eat this entire thing in one sitting and I probably will. Um, these right here, growing up the street, look how little they are. They're so cute. They're just carrots, but I love them. I love them raw. I love them cooked in the air fryer, boiled, however you want to do them. They're delicious. Carrots, if you don't like carrots in a regular day, you guys, when they are grown locally and they are fresh, they're like, like upgraded. They're delicious. And I'm so excited to have those. This is literally what I went for. Okay. This is what we went for. Green pig grown in my small town. You guys, little old Salisbury, barely a blip on the map. Look at these. Oh, I'm so excited. These are going to be amazing. Um, the ice cream. I could not do without. I thought it was a must. Um, I got vanilla. This is the one that was made in um, Quebec. Quebec. I have had the double strawberry before, but I've never tried the vanilla. And honestly, vanilla is what Skylar, Cooper, Winnie, and Curtis all want. So <laughs> that's kind of my family. They're a little vanilla. Yep, they are. But you know, I am that chocolate peanut butter ripple. Okay, that's me. That's me. I'm the only one who's going to eat this and I'm doing myself right. Okay. I bought that for myself. And also saw this honeycomb. Oh, honey, do honey's going to do. Okay. <laughs> I also got this maritime brown bread, $5 and 50 cents for a loaf of bread. Still not that bad. Okay. It's still not that bad when it's bakery bread. that's literally made up the street. I actually can bake this myself. But I have a problem with binge eating, okay? If you're new to the channel, welcome. 
Yes, I am on a health journey and I am living in self-love territory and I am recovering from an eating disorder that is a binge eating disorder and also a restrictive eating disorder. And also like I'm a food addict, <laughs> you know, uh, it's a problem, but I'm working on it. And one of the things that is the hardest for me is when I make something at home, when it is fresh and I know I made it, that is my weakness. So for now, I am trying to not bake anything that I don't think I can resist eating like gluttony style. Okay. Cause it's not there. It is okay to eat. And I, this is where I struggle because it is okay to eat, but also I balance is freaking hard. I can't even explain it. You guys, I can't, it's just so hard for me. Um, but I'm working on it one day at a time and sometimes one minute at a time. Um, and I'm saying this fully looking at the carrot cake that I bought, fully knowing the only people that are going to eat that are me, Addie and Boober. So, um, yeah, I just haven't had carrot cake in so long, you guys. I haven't. And I'm thinking like one slice. It's already pre-cut, okay? One slice. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to convince myself I'll be able to stop at one. But you guys, it looks so good. Oh, my heck. I, I am going to stop at one for today. And then maybe another one tomorrow. If I feel so moved, okay? <laughs> this is hard, you guys. It's hard because it's not like smoking, which I quit cold turkey um because smoking you don't need that to live food you do so it's it's a lot harder it's a lot harder to have a healthy relationship with food because you still need it you know you can't live without it literally so it's hard and I still walk by people that are smoking what I used to smoke back I mean I haven't smoked in 17 years, 18 years, and still, when I smell my brand, I literally, like, drool. Like, I literally want it so bad, and it's been that long. Like, you guys, it's hard, man, it's hard. <laughs> Here is the carrot cake, you guys, $7.99. I know, I know, it wasn't the cheapest thing I bought, but you guys, it just caught my eye. Look, it oh, looks so moist, you guys. I am absolutely going to enjoy one slice of that and I'm going to share it with others. You guys, this right here, I saw this right before we got up to the cash, um, $6.99. It doesn't look like it's that much. 60 grams for that price is not great, um, but it's made locally and it was available. So I thought Curtis and I could try it and I do really like beef jerky. I like protein because it helps me to stay fuller for longer and have balance better with everything else that I eat when I'm filled up with protein. Says the girl who was vegan <laughs> for five years. You know, yeah, we like the protein now. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this ice cream right now because um, I like ice cream when it is melted. Like freezing cold ice cream, I don't like it. It actually hurts my teeth and it doesn't taste as good. So I prefer it to be like melted and then you eat around the sides. The middle is usually still frozen, but honestly it's like super hot outside right now and we let the kids play after. So it might be like super melted and it is. This is the honeycomb, you guys. You guys, I saw this on TikTok, okay? Because you know how you get like um, shown people that like follow you or like things that are local to you? So I came across the Green Pig TikTok and I saw them scoop out this honeycomb ice cream. That is literally what caught me, okay? It looked so good. Just, oh, okay. Okay, that is not what I expected. I don't know if you could hear that. The toilet also flushed at the same time. Um, oh my heck, that's so good. Um, it's crispy. The, the honeycomb bits are crispy. Holy smokes. This says it was made in Penobscot. 
which I think, is that technically in Sussex? It's like before Sussex when you drive from here to go there. Wow. You guys, can you see that? Oh, what a ripple. What a ripple. Wow. That was a really big bite of honey. Something about me, guys. I've never had honey before. Like, we just never bought it as a family. Holy crap, that's so good. I wonder if that's what all honey tastes like. I've literally never had honey like out of one of those squeezy bear things. We just didn't grow up with honey in the house and I've never bought it myself. But if that's what honey tastes like, then I totally know why people like it because that is delicious. Holy smokes, okay. I didn't try these in any particular order. I just grabbed one. Now I'm grabbing the other one. But this is the one I was mostly excited for because something about me is I'm addicted to peanut butter, okay? Peanut butter and chocolate is probably the best food combination, period. This one didn't get melted as much, but it's still got that. It's still melted around the sides. Oh my heck. You guys. Wow. That's a slam dunk right there. Oh, I can tell this bite is like pure peanut butter. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> wow. I can die happy now. <laughs> you guys, I'm so glad this only comes in small pints. Who remembers? I don't know if you guys all had this or if it was just like a maritime thing, but this 100% tastes like teddy bear ice cream, which was a super popular ice cream in the 90s when I was growing up. Um, we always used to buy it and then it went away and it's like, why did you take that away? So then we tried making it at home, but it was never the same. Literally all this is, is chocolate ice cream, which is damn good and peanut butter, which is damn good. Like this ice cream is pretty damn good. <laughs> Holy crap, you guys. Teddy bear ice cream. Wowzers. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go do some more laundry and some more activity because now I just have a burst of energy thanks to the sugar. And later on today, I'm going to try that. Um, I almost called it a caramel cake. What's it called? Carrot cake. I'm going to try that later, but I'm going to take a break in between my treats because balance. Okay, exactly. Swiss chard, Curtis said it stinks, but it smells so good to me. It stinks. Oh, it's gonna be so hot. It stinks. Mm -hmm. My Grammy G used to have a ginormous garden. And this was like the best growing up. Mm -mm -mm. Literally so good. And all that whole bunch only made like this much. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of playing outside, sweaty, picking stuff for Grammy in her garden and ice cream for some reason. <laughs> While Curtis is here, I wanted to try the beef jerky too. Do you want to try it with me? Yeah. I opened it up. It actually smells really, really good. So I think we're probably going to like it. You want to split one piece? Well, 
Not that great. I do not like it. <laughs> no, that is. That's the dog treat right That there. is so salty. Why is it so salty? Need some heat, too. Oh, I... <laughs> so dry. Sorry, I can't get it out of my mouth. I don't even know if the dog will like that. He'll like it. Put in a baggie for the dog. Okay. Joe, don't quit your day job, buddy. Or or just make it for dogs. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't good at all. <coughs> Way to ruin my meal. And guess how much that was? You ruined my palate. Sorry, guess how much that was? Six ninety nine. Good guess. You're exactly right. Exactly? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought you looked at the tag. I did not. Hmm. That was a guess. Wow. That is the grossest thing I've eaten in a long time. Sure. Let's try it. So try a bite. He wants to try a bite. Are you ready? I'm going to give you two. Because we don't really want to save it for any reason whatsoever. Is that a little treat for you, bud? Are you ready? Put the rest of the away for later. Good boy. How about we shake the paw? Yeah. There you go. Even he's like, I don't know, Dad. Do you want more? I don't think he likes it that much. Do you want more? <laughs> he kind of turned his nose up at it. I don't know, buddy. Do you want the rest or no? Yeah, he's still, he, he I don't likes think he it, likes but it. he doesn't love it. Yeah. I like it, but not a lot. I, I don't, don't like, like it. <laughs> Hi. You know they're fresh. <laughs> Definitely not gonna show the kids this. Winnie is way too strong-willed, you guys. She's too much like her mother. This does freak me out, but it's a slug, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, he was literally alive inside a berry that I literally just cut into. So I'm going to release him into the wild it's just a slug there's no big deal um one time i was eating a pomegranate and um some kind of centipede worm came out of one of the little seed things and um it took me like two years to eat another pomegranate but strawberries are my absolute favorite and you can keep that one mr slug enjoy your new home <laughs> How are those Salisbury strawberries? Good. 10 out of 10, right? Mm -hmm. Delish. Okay, have fun, guys. Literally like candy. That slug has good taste. I thought you know what would go good with a bowl of strawberries? Carrot cake. <sighs> you guys, this smells so, so good. Holy crap. Where? Did I spell it? I didn't That cream cheese frosting, you guys. Holy smokes. Shout out to the chef. Damn. Whoever made this has one lucky spouse, okay? Also, probably an overweight spouse because how could you not? 
Oh my heck, this is too good to be true. <laughs> Am I right? Super good, right? <laughs> this isn't your first time eating cake, is it, Boomer? <laughs> is it good? Super good, eh? Mm -mm -mm. Strawberries and carrot cake. It's like summer in a bowl. Absolutely delicious. I think I just invented that. Give it a try, guys. Let me know what you think. Wow. Rapunzel can swing. She can swing with her hair. Rapunzel can sing. She can sing with her voice. Big bear, small bear. Naked bear. Did you notice? <laughs> Curse. Look. <laughs> naked. They're yes, both naked. Okay, it's for like some clothes. They're bears. At it's least natural. Some it's all they, hanging they're out. They're literally gonna get it. Yeah, they're gonna get bathing suits on. Small hat, big hat. That's the wrong hat. Switch. Big hat, small hat. They're gonna. Dad. They're doing Enough that. Enough commentary. Sorry. He just yeah. sat down, guys. Well, this is what's happening. And then they're gonna. Yes, exactly. That's too the point small, of the story. Too small, too big. Oh no, it's the black. Ah! Oh no! No! I talked to you. We're good. Oh yeah! All right, you guys. I am going to call it a vlog. I will see you back here tomorrow. Love you guys. Bye.